Hello everyone, this is Jenny Yetto from the Pixie Post, and I'm back with the bi-weekly oracle card reading from February 1st through February 15th. And you're probably scratching your head and thinking, um, Pixie, aren't you a little bit late? Yes, I am. And I'm sorry, I really have no excuse, except life has been crazy lately. And it's only going to get crazier, which I'll fill you in all on later. Um, but I did want to make sure I got that out uh, to you guys because time is not linear, even though we view it as such in our everyday lives. Um, time is not linear, so whenever you do watch this video, um, it obviously is meant for you to see this. And whatever you get from this reading, just take that and discard the rest. Um, so it can apply to anything that has happened in your life since February 1st and whatever will happen up until the 15th. So I think it will work out pretty well. <laughs> okay, now that I'm keeping a watchful eye on that, I'm going to focus on this reading. <laughs> um, I'm going to do my usual three-card draw. I'm using one of my newer decks, which I absolutely love. It's so up my alley. Um, it's The Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay. And the artwork is by Ginger Kelly. And these cards are gorgeous. Um, the paper it's printed on is perfect. Um, it's not too thick, but it's not too thin either. It's not flimsy. And look at the back of these cards. Even just that is just absolutely gorgeous. I love how it has the keys and the lotus flowers um, and the wings. It, it's just amazing. And that's only the front or the back of the cards. So it's pretty cool. And it says inside the the box, may you discover your fairy wings inside the sanctuary of your precious heart. That's pretty. And that can apply to guys too without being all through through. So don't worry. <laughs> we got you. Um, I'm going to shuffle the cards. I already cleared the energy on it. Um, I usually use the candle flame and pass the deck over the flame a few times because it cleanses all the past energies that have been in this deck. Since it's a newer deck, there's really not that much, except whoever made these and the one time I did use some. So so it wasn't as much of an extensive cleaning that I had to do, or clearing, I should say. So I'm going to shuffle the cards. You have to mind Timmy. He's running around, and I know he's going to see that bug in a few minutes. So I might have to pause this video because all heck my broke loose. <laughs> it's never a dull moment at the Pixie Palace, I'm telling you right now. My God. <laughs> All right, let's see. Now we're going to see what the universe and what the fairies have to tell us. Ooh. God, I can't get over how gorgeous these cards are. <clears throat> okay, perfect. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. The first card is, hopefully you can see this, Light. The Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Wow, that's a powerful card already. Um, it's basically letting you know that the universe has your back. Um, whether you're going through a really trying time right now, um, you might be dealing with grief or... Um, a tragedy of some sort or maybe just some self uh, conflict that you're going through um, and you may feel pretty low right now you may feel like okay am I ever going to come out of this am I ever going to get over this or through this the answer is yes but it will take time this is when you tap into your hard space and keep trusting trust the universe because we as humans always want to control our circumstances. And there's very little indeed that we can control. And the sooner we realize this, the better. Because it doesn't mean lay down and don't do anything. Always take charge of your fate. However, sometimes we have to get out of our own way and trust the universe to take care of things. Because... Sometimes we'll think our path will go one certain way or it'll be in one certain outcome and it'll take a totally different direction and 
be even more beautiful than we ever anticipated. But when we don't get out of our own way, we cause resistance, and that resistance delays whatever's coming for us, whatever's supposed to be uh, fruitful for us or positive for us. So know that it's okay to process. It's okay to feel how you feel. It's okay that you might be having a bad time right now. We as humans go through the ups and downs of life, and there are so many lessons that we all have to learn, all different lessons for every individual. But um, when we don't or lose sight of what is important and trusting that things will work out one way or another, maybe not in always the way we think it is or should be, but it will work out for the highest good, then we can take a breath and realize there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is always light, always light. Even when you're low and you feel like you're helpless and you can't do anything, then shine your light on someone else's life. Help someone else. Because I've noticed like sometimes when I have really low times, when I actually do something good for someone else without expecting anything back and just for the sake of helping that person, whether it's just listening to them or doing something for them, it actually raises my vibration. I start feeling better. It's kind of a win-win situation without even really going into it for that. And it, it takes your mind off things too for a while and that's okay. Um, sometimes we need to take a break from the the analytical and overthinking that a lot of us tend to do. Um, so just know that the universe does have you. They do know that you're going through a tough time. You will get that support in one form or another. You just have to keep your eyes open to it and your heart open to it. And that light will shine and that light will come to you. And maybe even a month from now, you'll see what progress you've made in your life and what uh, positive turnarounds has happened. Okay. So number two, it's kind of an interesting one. <laughs> I love this. This. Uh, oh, it's a snake. I, I couldn't see what it was. Temptation. Are you in denial about an unhealthy habit? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty. This fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever its guise. So basically this saying, temptation is everywhere. We all are tempted by something. Um, some things are more destructive than others. Um, some might be like a certain game that a lot of my friends and I are playing on the Steam blockchain. Just saying. <laughs> It, it, you'll understand if you know me on the Steam blockchain, but putting that aside, um, we're all tempted by things. Um, it could be food, it could be sex, it could be drugs, it could be uh, games, it could be shopping, um, it could be just a certain behavior pattern. It could be a lot of little things, and it could be uh, things that really affect us. It's just right now it's about being mindful of whether those temptations are serving you positively or not. Um, there are some tip temptations like sometimes you want to take a day off from working hard and you're so tempted to do that. It's okay to do something like that. Um, sometimes you need to have self-care or spend time with your family or friends for a day that you normally don't do on that day. It's okay. The world is not going to fall apart. Um, I have to tell myself that because I can tend to be a workaholic. Um, so I have to tell myself, hey, it's okay to breathe, girl, and do something for yourself. Um, but it's just a matter of how consumed you are by it. Um, when it comes to um, the more destructive things like drugs and alcohol, um, even sex, you know, different things, that's when it's good to step back and reevaluate whether you need assistance to um, rehabilitate. Because um, all these things are fine and well in moderation, but when it gets to be um, taking over your life, 
that's when the problems come in. That's when you attract the more negative circumstances. And it actually rate or not raises, it actually lowers your vibration. Um, so then you start feeling stuck in all those negative emotions, which it, it's a domino effect. It affects everything. It affects the people around you. Um, so it's always good to be mindful to do things in moderation. Um, stay away from the things that are bad for you. Um, and again, everybody's different. But also recognizing that it's okay to get help if you can't do it yourself. Um, when we're on the spiritual awakening path, like a lot of us are, um, it can be very overwhelming. Um, some do turn to those things as an escape. But the problem is you're never really escaping anything. You're actually adding to um, the chaos that we can tend to go through. And in the as a result, then it makes everything worse. So just be mindful in what you're doing. Um, be mindful in all these things. If you know someone who's having trouble with temptation, don't tell them to just get over it. Um, you know, don't ridicule, ridicule, I can't talk today, ridicule them and don't um, put them down because we're all human. We all have our strengths. We all have our weaknesses, but that doesn't define us. It's just something we're dealing with. And having support um, in overcoming these things and working through these things, not ignoring them, really makes a difference. Um, you have your own support always, but sometimes it is good to have the support of others as well. So, third card, I love this one, stargazing. And that's perfect because I'm a moon girl. <laughs> All right, stargazing. And this one says, when you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. So basically, um, what they're saying is, believe it or not, is we kind of get undulated with different things from technology, modern conveniences, um, texting, all that stuff. And again, like I said about other things, all in moderation is fine if that's what works for you. But sometimes we get overwhelmed. We don't see the solutions that we are looking for or we don't see where we can get ourselves unstuck, for lack of a better way to say it. Um, so sometimes it's better to detox, unplug from all these conveniences, um, go out in nature for a while, look at the stars quite literally, or take a walk, take a hike, um, even going swimming, um, skiing if it's snowing where you are. Um, just, you don't even have to do anything major. You can just go to the park and just sit on a bench and just kind of, just be, you know, just be. And that's usually when the solutions and all the ideas come to you. That's when the intuition kicks in because you're not so distracted by other circumstances, by other things. And that's when your inner self tends to speak up more. Um, you know, I'm so guilty of this because I'm on social media, I'm on internet a lot. Um, I find myself working um, offline because I work three days a week offline at the hotel. But I also work online all the time almost. And lately especially, I've not been taking the breaks I need to take. And I'm starting to work out a plan where I can basically time block things and then have my... Uh, relaxation time, um, even if it's to read or whatever. And it's so important to do that and to maintain that balance. Um, and it's always a work in progress. I mean, it's never a set and forget deal. But it's really important because that's when I notice my creativity kicks in more, when I'm not so burned out worrying about other things um, that needs to be done. And when I go out... Um, in the sunshine, that's vitamin D, that perks my mood up. And as we all know, that's proven to do that for a lot of people who go through anxiety. Um, my anxiety goes down. I'm more in aligned with my spiritual self. And that's where the magic really happens. 
the magic comes through then. And then you start seeing things a lot clearer. And you think, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that before? It's because you were so distracted and you were so undulated with all these different things. So make time to do that. Even schedule a time for that. If you feel you're too busy, you know, I don't have enough time, you have time. Just schedule it in, even if it's an hour a week. Um, just even that alone can make such a difference. And it will actually help you with your business. It will help you um, realign with your spiritual self. And it will actually help your relationships with others as well because you'll feel more refreshed and you'll have more time to dedicate to them as well. It's really all um, a butterfly effect with all of these different things. It's amazing how um, even with my 2020 vision challenge, um, I promote, and as well as everybody else, the physical, spiritual, mental wellness because all those three things are connected. And that's when we get to stargazing and it really makes a huge difference. Um, this is really a strong energy, so this is really being emphasized right now, especially for this time period. And probably all of February, I'm feeling that it's going to be past that as well. So this may come up in the next reading. I wouldn't be that surprised, or some form. So just take time for yourself. Reconnect with yourself. Reconnect with the things that are most important in your life. And uh, also don't forget to reconnect with others. Don't forget your family. Don't forget your friends when you're trying to make things happen. Remember the, the ones who support you all the way from the beginning. It's so, so important. And always trust your intuition. So, so that is the bi-weekly oracle card reading. Um, it was very direct this time, very intense. Um, I can feel it in my heart space right now. Um, it, it's just basically focus. Um, that is the word I'm feeling right now. I, it's focus. Focus on what you want to achieve. Try to achieve balance. Work on balance. Work on anything that needs to be worked on. And just remember, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. If today doesn't work for you, remember there's always a brighter tomorrow. My mom used to tell me that when I grew up. And she said, if, if it's horrible one day, the next day will be better. And if it's not the next day, it will be the next one. There's always a brighter tomorrow. So, well, my lovelies, that's it for this week. Um, I hope you liked it. I will be back with a bi-weekly oracle card reading for December, or December, <laughs> February 16th through the 29th is leap year this year. So it'll be a little extra special. And uh, yeah, that should be out next week. And also look for my Moonwatch series video. that will be coming out on Saturday. So be on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, to know thyself is to know thy truth. Namaste. So uh, feel free to um, take it back with a grain of salt. Um, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I see a big ass bug on my wall. You know what? I released a, <laughs> a video yesterday because I was doing videos yesterday. And I was <laughs> being silly because after being serious and channeling energy, you know, I get kind of goofy afterwards. And I was yelling, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> and um, if you haven't seen the video, maybe I'll upload it and I'll put the link above. But now it's crawling on my wall because it disappeared. I didn't know where it went. And somebody told me it might be a stink bug. And I didn't even know we had those in Reno. Maybe I'm just bug ignorant. But this thing needs to go away because it's, it's crawling. It's crawling. Mm -hmm.